Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginner's video series on MS Active webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to configure domain password policy in Windows Server 2022 Active Directory. By default, Active Directory is configured with a default domain password policy. This policy defines the password requirements for Active Directory user accounts such as password length, age and so on. This password policy is configured by group policy and linked to the root of the domain. To ensure a high level of security for user accounts in the Active Directory domain, an administrator must configure and implement a domain password policy. Password policy defines rules for password creation such as minimum length, complexity and when the password expires before it must be changed to a different one. By default, in an active directory domain, users will be required to change the password at every 42 days and they will not be able to use the same old password at least for some time. Their password would also need to be a 7 character or more and contain a combination of characters such as numbers, uppercase, lowercase and non-alphanumeric. These password settings are good as a starting point but sometimes they might not align with the requirements of your Active Directory organization. In this video, we will learn how to configure and set up an Active Directory domain password policy. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msaptivebcast.com domain. Log in to a Windows Server 2022 domain controller using a domain administrator account. On Saw Manager, click on Tools and select Group Policy Management. Expand Domains, Your Domain and then click on Group Policy Objects. Find the GPU with the name Default Domain Policy Right click it and select edit. This will open group policy management editor window. In the group policy management editor window, navigate to computer configuration, policies, windows settings, security settings, account policies and click on password policy. Alternatively, we can also access our domain password policy from windows powershell by executing the get -ad default domain password policy cm delete here we have settings which we can set up to configure password policy in active directory domain most of the settings are already configured let's talk about the settings one by one first we have enforce password history setting this setting defines how many unique passwords must be used before an old password can be reused. The default setting is 24. For example, if my current password is pass at 123, then I can't reuse that password until I have changed my password 24 times or whatever number the policy is set to. This setting is useful so users don't keep reusing the same old passwords. Set it to maximum which is a 24. And by default, this value is set to 24. Next, we have maximum password age. Maximum password age setting defines how long in days a password can be used before it needs to be changed. The default setting is set to 42 days. Let's set this setting to 30 days. Let me change the value to 30. Click on apply and OK. Next, we have minimum password age. The setting determines how long a password must be used before it can be changed. The default setting is 1 day. You can set a value between 1 and 998 days or you can allow changes immediately by setting the number of days to 0. In this example, we will set this value to 0. This means user can change their password immediately. Click on apply and OK. Minimum password length setting determines how many characters a password must have. The default is 7. We are going to set this value to 10. This means password must contain at least 10 characters. 
click on apply and okay next we have setting name password must meet complexity requirements let me click on explain tab password must meet complexity requirements setting details the types of characters a user must include in a password string by default the setting is enabled best practice used to recommend leaving this setting enabled but password length is now seen as a better strategy than complexity of frequent changes complexity requirements typically require the password to include a mix of upper or lower case letters numeric characters and non alpha numeric characters like dollar hash or percentile the password should not contain the user's account name or part of the user's full name that exceeds two consecutive characters the password must contains characters from the at least three of the following four categories since this policy is already enabled we are not going to change any settings but you have to take care that these are the four categories from which at least we need to fulfill three categories in our password now i am going to click on okay now close group policy editor window this completes the gpu configuration for active directory domain password policy the group policy object named default domain policy is already linked we can verify this gpu is linked at root level which is a domain name anaseptivwebcast.com so we just have to wait for the group policy to update automatically or we can run gb update slash force command to manually update the group policy settings on our dc open run menu type cmd and hit enter key to open command prompt type command gp update slash force and hit enter key to manually update the group policy let's wait for a few seconds to see the response computer and user based policy has been updated successfully type dsa.msc and hit enter to open active directory users and computers to test the password policy which we have just configured we are going to change a password of an existing active directory user account let me type the password first here this is the password which we are going to use to set up for this user account right click the user account and select reset password type password pass at 123 retype the password and click on okay as expected we can't set up that password as we have set password length requirement to 10 characters we are getting an error message that windows cannot complete the password change for this user account the password does not meet the password policy requirements let me change the password little bit let's add two more numbers and make this password 10 characters long let's copy it so we have upper case lower case special characters and numbers in our password which fulfill the requirement of password complexity click okay again right click the user account select password let's paste the password let's paste the password again in confirm password box and click on okay since this time the password is able to fulfill all the domain password policy requirements administrator is able to reset the user's password we can also see the confirmation message that the password for the selected user has been changed this means the configured password policy is working as expected in this video we have learned how to configure domain password policy in windows server 2022 active directory that's all for this video i hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video please let me know in the comments section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day